You are welcome back to our mathematics class. This is Aliphatic Teaches. Today we are going to be looking at change of subjects of formulae. Before we dive in into this proper, if you are a new member of this channel, kindly click the subscription button and share to your loved one for them to benefit. And do not forget to click the notification bell for my subsequent classes. Now, I want to talk about change of subject of formulae. This topic might look somehow complex when some equation was, is given to us. But how do we go about it? In this channel, you are going to learn the rudiment part of it till we get to the complex one. We move from known to unknown. Now, let's proceed. Example one. Make x the subject of the formula x plus a is equal to b. Now looking at that question, x plus a is equal to b. The first thing is, you want to find x. That's the meaning of make x. The subject of the formula, you want to find x. One thing that which comes to your mind is, always make your unknown, what you are looking for, to be at the left hand side. It can also be at the right hand side, but let it always be at the left hand side. And the known mean those more you don't need, you are not looking for them, let them be at the right hand side. That is one. Secondly, anything attaching to your unknown letter, maybe it's S or Y, anything attaching to it, you try to detach them. Look at this. We have S plus A is equal to B. We want to get the value of X, but this S is only joined to this A by a positive sign. From here, the what you are going to do is to take this positive A away. That is, if positive A, we have to move, it has to cross this equals to. And what is crossing equals to change to negative A. So we are going to have X is equal to B. So positive A is crossing change to what? Minus A. In this case, you have to make S the subject of the formula. Next question, example two. Make x the subject of the formula a minus x is equal to b. If you look at this, a, a minus x equals to b. What the difference between the first one and the second one is the sign, negative. The first thing to do is to take anything that is joining with your s away. Here, we are having a minus x. So this positive A has to move to this point. So where we have, when this is moving, we are going to be left with minus S. Don't forget, S owns this minus equals to B. Then this plus A, if it is crossing, is equal to minus A. My dear students, I am to look for value of X and not the value of minus X. Then I have to find a way of taking, of removing this negative. By either multiplying both sides by negative one to change this one to positive, or divide both sides by negative one. Now let me multiply two by minus one. Multiply two by minus one, minus x, multiply by minus one, is equal to b minus a, multiplied by minus one. So since I'm having two different values, I have to use brackets for my multiplication. But if it is just one value like this, minus s, I can just use ordinary multiplication. Minus times minus, we have plus. x times 1, we have x, is equals to. Now here, I can open this bracket by saying, minus 1 times b, minus b. Minus times minus, plus. 1 times a, we have a. Now, plus s means x, is equals to. I can rearrange this one so that minus will not show in the, at the beginning of this equation, and we have a minus b. B. If you now see it now, I have made my x, the sort of formula, minus is no more there, it is having positive words, x equals to a minus b. Example 3, make x the subject of the formula, ax plus bx equals to c. We have ax plus bx equals to c. When you look at this, we have our, our, our unknown here, x, our unknown here, x. 
we must find a way of making the unknown to be one, meaning that it is not scattered in various positions. Which means I can collect like time here. I can factorize x out. S is common to both. Open your brackets. Since if I remove this x here, it remains a plus. Since I remove this x, it remains b equals to c. The next thing to do is, you know that this x and a plus b, they are being separated by brackets. Bracket in this case means multiplication. If you can recall in our previous classes, I said the opposite of positive is equal to minus. The opposite of multiplication is division. So if we have multiplication, the opposite is division. So since this, what is joining S and these values together is multiplication, to now find the value of S, we have to use the opposite of multiplication, which is division, by saying divide, divide both sides by A plus B. That is to remove this A plus B, I have to find the opposite of this multiplication by saying S open bracket, A plus B, close it, divided by A plus B. So it's equal to C divided by A plus B. This cancel this, X equals to C divided by A plus B. So we have made X the subject of this equation, of this formula. Example four, make X the subject of the formula AX plus B is equal to X. Now, ax plus b is equal to x. We want to make x the subject of the formula. And my x are in different positions. One is at the left-hand side, the other is at the right-hand side. The first thing is to take them together. And don't forget I said, always let the unknown to be at the left-hand side. Meaning, this x has to come in. When the x is coming in, this plus b, we have to move out because it doesn't have x. So b plus b will move out. I'm going to have ax. When this one is coming in, it becomes minus x is equal to, when plus b is going out, till to what? Minus b. As from our previous example three, we have to collect like time by saying s is common to both. Open your brackets. When you move x here, we're going to be half, we're going to have a minus, s goes in s, we have what? One. That is x divided by s. S here one, X here one. One over one is one. So it's equal to minus B. According to what we explained in the previous example, to not get the value of X, we have to look for the opposite of this multiplication, which is division. So divide both sides by A minus one. S open bracket A minus one divided by A minus one is equal to minus B open bracket A minus one. This comes with this. X equals to minus B over a minus 1. So this is the value of x. So in this case, this is the first lesson. We are going to move on gradually, gradually, until we are dealt fully with this topic. Now, if you find this class interesting, kindly subscribe and share to your loved ones. And do not forget to click the notification bell for my subsequent channel. Thank you very much.